Y'all, I'm going blind. Like, can I really do this? Hey friends, this is Mandy and I'm back for another challenge. I'm sitting here at my local Dollar Tree and I have no idea what I'm gonna find, but we're gonna try to make a 4th of July feast. So the first thing I start looking for is the main items. So I see these frozen beef patties. There's only two in there. I'm looking for some hot dogs. I finally found them. There were a couple of refrigerators over. So I've got a kind of idea here for what I could do for the entree. But now I've got to figure out the sides. So I'm looking, I do see some eggs. I see some cheese. Here is some chili, so that's an option, but um, I don't know, Sloppy Joes. I do see these cake mixes, and I do want to include a dessert. So once I see the Jello and the white cake mix, I realize that I've got a plan for dessert. I also go over to the bean section. I'm thinking about doing something like a three bean salad. But then I see the pork and beans. And I'm from the South, y'all. So you know exactly what I started thinking. And this is a big can. So I thought that was a better deal. Okay, I'm back in the car. We did it. I feel pretty good about what I got. I'm interested to see how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to take you home. I'm going to show you what we got. We're going to get to cooking this 4th of July barbecue feast. Not really a feast. I mean, I don't know. It's from Dollar Tree. But then stay tuned to the end because I'm going to compare the cost of what I got to what it could have been if I had gone to Walmart. So here we are back from Dollar Tree. Here are the items we got to make a 4th of July barbecue cookout type of situation here. We're gonna take these things and we're gonna turn it into a 4th of July celebration. My total was $20.52, that's after tax. I started with this seasoning blend so I could have some flavor. I got onion, celery, red and green bell pepper, parsley. I'm gonna be using that across several of my items. I got three cans of whole potatoes. I got two cans of pork and beans. I got blue and red sprinkles, some sweet brown sugar barbecue sauce, a white cake, hot dog buns with the hot dogs. I got some strawberry jello, some Cool Whip, two of these beef patties and six eggs. And so I'm gonna turn all of this into a barbecue dinner. The only thing I'm gonna be using for my pantry is salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. I figure most people have ketchup and mustard and mayo in their house, but I do wanna give you a tip on how you can get some free condiments. I pulled these out of my fridge. Whenever you go get fast food, whatnot, go eat out, ask for extra, and then keep it in your fridge. So if you don't have condiments or you can't afford condiments, you can start stockpiling lots of different sauces and condiments from your fast food drive-throughs. So that's a trick. So this is what we got, now let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get this cake started so we can get it done and out of the way because we don't need to cool. We're going to turn this into a 4th of July cake. So I have this classic white cake. I'm going to have to use three of my eggs, just the egg whites for this. One cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to turn it into a poke cake and I'm going to be using the strawberry jello, um, the Cool Whip, the red and blue sprinkles. I'm going to get my cake mix going, get the cake in the oven, and then I'm gonna come up with a plan for what we need to do next.
So like it says to take the back of a wooden spoon, but look, mine are square and flat like that. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna use this big old straw that I've got. So I'm just gonna go through and poke holes like this into my cake, just like that. Now I'm gonna sit this to the side because I need to make my jello mixture. I got strawberry. So I'm gonna make this jello up according to package directions. Okay, I'm gonna pour in one cup of boiling water. Give this a stir. Let that sugar dissolve. Give that another stir. We're gonna pour our jello mixture. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge for two hours. Okay, so now that my cake is cooling in the fridge, I'm gonna start working on a couple of other things. Okay, so I'm going to try to do something I've never done before. I'm gonna take these cans of whole potatoes and I'm gonna to try to make potato salad out of them. So I'm very interested to see how that's gonna turn out. I took the remainder three eggs that I have. I already hard boiled those. Um, I'm gonna be using this frozen seasoning blend. I'm gonna be using it in both sides. So it's frozen. And so I'm trying to think about how I'm going to do this. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by sauteing all of this in my skillet. And then I'm gonna take half of it out or split it in half. So I can use half in my potato salad, half in my baked beans. So let's get over to the stove. So I'm going to be making baked beans in my cast iron skillet with the two cans of pork and beans, but I wanna use some of that seasoning blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute the seasoning blend here in my cast iron. I've got it heating up, and then we're gonna use half of it in the beans, half of it in the potato salad. I am going to add two pinches of coaster salt and one pinch of coarse black pepper. And give a stir. Steamy. Since these veggies were frozen, as you can see here, by sauteing them first, it's pulling all that liquid out, and that way it doesn't have all of that extra water in our beans and our potato salad. So I'm just gonna continue to saute this, let that liquid cook out, and then we'll be ready to make our sides. It has only been like two minutes and you can see all that liquid has cooked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take half of this out for the potato salad. Now to my cast iron skillet, I'm gonna add these two beef patties, but I'm not gonna keep them as hamburgers. I'm going to kind of ground those up there in the pan. I like hamburger meat in my baked beans, so let's get these hamburger patties broken up. And as you can see now, I've got those ground beef patties all ground up there, and we are browning our meat. Once the meat has cooked through, we're going to add our two cans of pork and beans. Just look at that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna add in most of this bottle of barbecue sauce. I gave that a stir and this huge cast iron skillet is full with baked beans. I'm gonna put those in the oven at 350 degrees. Oh, and I still have like half of this bottle of barbecue sauce. All right, so I'm gonna try this potato salad. This is the one thing I'm not sure about, but we're gonna try. So I've got that onion and pepper mixture that I sauteed, a little bit of that. 
I've opened and drained my potatoes here. I'm gonna give those a cut, so I'm gonna take a look at them. Okay, so, they look like this. So I'm just gonna give these, I'm gonna quarter them, I think. There's my potatoes. I'm gonna take my hard boiled eggs. Give those a dice. Okay, I'm gonna add two pinches of kosher salt. One pinch of black pepper. Some people like to put pickles. I love pickles in my potato salad, but I didn't buy pickles, so I'm not putting pickles. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard. Some mayonnaise. Wait to taste it. Dollar Tree potato salad. Here is our poke cake after two hours in the fridge. It looks more pink than red, but that's okay. That's okay, it's fine. So we're gonna take this whole container of Cool Whip and put it on top. Smooth it out. Now we're gonna take our red sprinkles and our blue sprinkles. I think this turned out so pretty and looks kind of like fireworks on top. That's a nine by 13. That's a lot of dessert. So that's everything cooked or prepped, except for the hot dogs. So I'm gonna go cook the hot dogs and then I'm gonna show you our plates. I think we've done pretty good. Here are those baked beans out of the oven. I baked them for about 40 minutes. Oh my goodness, they smell delicious. And here is my plate. I have a hot dog, the potato salad, the baked beans. This all smells and looks amazing. And we can't forget about our strawberry poke cake. This is what it looks like on the inside and it is so moist and so delicious. You definitely have to give this a try. Okay, I'm not gonna taste test the hot dog cause I mean, it's a hot dog. But I do want to taste for you the potato salad and the baked beans. So I'm gonna start with the potato salad. Here I have a bite with the seasoning blend, the potatoes, some egg. It tastes like potato salad. Mmm. I'm really pleased. Okay. The baked beans. Here we go. I love baked beans, especially with the hamburger meat and the barbecue sauce. Mm, yummy. I was skeptical, especially on the potato salad. It's really good. So that was pretty good. I'm really pleased. I couldn't believe how good the potato salad and the baked beans were. The, the dessert was beautiful. It was so much dessert. This was plenty of food for my family of four. And so I think it was a win. Dollar Tree, 4th of July, 20 bucks. I did tell you guys that I was going to be doing a price comparison to Walmart. So I got on walmart.com. I looked up the same items. It actually wasn't cheaper. And I was expecting it to be. To buy the exact same items, it was $23, a little bit over $23. So it wasn't that much of a difference. I think I could have whittled it down if if I had, instead of bought the canned potatoes at Walmart, I could have gotten a few fresh potatoes, little things like that, but I don't think it was gonna make a huge difference. So thank you for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you do, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me comments down below because I love to talk to you. And from my family to yours, happy 4th of July. Till next time, bye.